What's up guys, welcome back to Vaga Brothers. Right now we are off the grid in the Canadian wilderness, hundreds of miles from the nearest town. Travel Manitoba has invited us to Lake Aiken's Wilderness Lodge to go on a fishing adventure, experience the best of Manitoba's nature. But getting here was an adventure in itself. Excited, brother? I'm excited. I am not the biggest fisherman. My brother is quite enthusiastic, but I'm quite the amateur. I'm pretty excited to go up there and just be in the wilderness. Aikens Lake is, is a wilderness lodge. It's gonna be pretty cool. We'll be there for the next three days. What about you, Alex? Bunch of big fish in these lakes, and uh, not a lot of people to fish them, so we should have pretty good luck. You ready, bro? Let's do it. Let's go. That already was an awesome experience. This is some Indiana Jones stuff. Pretty awesome arrival. How often do you get to fly in a float plane, bro? Not often, but you know what, dude? I am always just humbled by the vastness of Canada's nature. We get settled into our cabin and then see what the day has to offer. We should still start with coffee, though, because it's early. Hi, my name is Pitt Turan, and we're at Aikens Lake Wilderness Lodge in Manitoba, Canada. Uh, this lodge started after the Second World War. It was a war veteran coming back from Europe that built the lodge. Our family's fifth generation owners now. I mean, we're right in the middle of the boreal forest. We're in a proposed UNESCO World Heritage Site, but there's no road access. Not a lot of people that come up here are hardcore fishermen or fisherwomen. Uh, they're just looking for a good time being able to unwind for three days and unplug from the world. Well, we have landed, we've checked in, and now we are getting ready to head out onto the lake. We're prepping the boat. They've got all the fishing stuff for us. It's gonna be fun. I think we're gonna get into it. Our guides, Justin and Derek, have showed us a cool spot. Derek, have you done this before? Yeah, I've done it a few times. Pretty high. He's a badass. That was so fun. Way bigger than it looks. My feet sting a little bit. My arm kind of stings, but I'm a happy camper. Right guys, well right now we're pulling up to these pictographs, Native American pictographs that are drawn right here at the water's edge. I was told the other day by a guy that studied it there was only one member of the tribe that could do them. And it was the medicine man or the medicine woman. And basically these were her visions for the area. So right here you can see that there's a canoe. Over there you can see the outline of a wolf, two ears. What I find the craziest about these is like, you know, you can still almost feel the energy. It's definitely cool. There have been people living here for I think over 10,000 years. And even though the day is a nice sunny day, you can imagine that living on this lake in the middle of winter uh, would be a different experience entirely. No way. Guys, well as you may or may not know, depending on how long you've been a Vagabuddy, I am a bird nerd. Huge bird nerd. And the king of all birds the king and queen, if you will, 
are the bald eagles, especially here in North America. And we have just had like the most amazing up close and personal encounter with this pair of bald eagles. Incredible. Bald eagle, symbol of the United States, very present here in Canada. All right, guys, well, it's about 5.30. And 5.30 around these parts means cocktail time. Can I have a gin and tonic? Sure. That was easy. So we're gonna grab a couple of cocktails, get some dinner, and then we're gonna head back out onto the lake and uh, try and catch some fish. Sunset. It's the perfect time to catch a big one. We shall see. We just nibbled a little dinner and now the fish are nibbling. So we're gonna go let the fish nibble on our baits. Take that how you will. What are we fishing for today? Uh, we're gonna be fishing for walleye. What makes it so good to fish here? Just so much structure in this lake that it holds uh, an amazing amount of bait fish and then that turns into holding a lot of game fish as well. You want to know why I like fishing so much, Mark? Let me guess. Because you can just sit on your butt and drink beer all day. And be outside. I know you too well. That's why we have Derek here catching all the nasty stuff for us. See, I told you I was going to catch you again. Talking about your accent, we get outside of California and you start talking like Matthew McConaughey. Hey, no matter where we go. Hey, what? brother, why don't you just pipe down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm snagged again. <laughs> I got something that is not a rock. I might have to get out of my chair for this one. Beautiful. Oh, oh. I should probably mention right now that I really don't like touching fish. It's kind of a phobia of mine, so. Time to touch it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Hey, bro, so can you snap a Tinder photo for me? I need a new profile pic. And he's gone. Very nice fish. Boom. Marco one, Alex zero. Oh, got one. This is another really nice walleye. Yeah, 24 inches. So just tell me, clarify real quick, uh, what is bigger, 24 or 25 inches? Uh, I believe 25 is slightly bigger, but uh, this fish is a little fatter, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty accurate statement. <laughs> wasn't that smooth. Way. That wasn't That's one way to do it. <laughs> See you tomorrow. So, we get an early start tomorrow, 6.30, coffee comes to the door, 7 o'clock breakfast, 8 o'clock on the water, hopefully catch some lake trout tomorrow. Well, the hard work's paid off. <laughs> Derek totally caught this one. <laughs> I'm just trying to steal the glory. Holy! Woo! Three, three. three. Ah, bro, monster. This thing weighs a ton. Now we're gonna go for just a couple of choice fish that we can land, catch, fillet, and cook for lunch. This is where lunch is. Four fish, we're gonna cook it two ways. Nice little fire here, looking over the lake. This is called a shore lunch. Derek is a Michelin starred backwoods chef. This smells amazing. Enjoy, bro. Cheers. Bon appetit. 
Till then. Well, guys, it's been a fun couple of days, but unfortunately, our time here at Aikens is coming to an end. We've had so much fun. It's been beyond relaxing, honestly, to be at a nice little set of cabins in the middle of nowhere with your pretty much your own private lake. Doesn't get much better than that. Plus, the fishing was incredible. The scenery is amazing. The food was on point and just generally good vibes all around. This has been my first official fishing trip of my life. I am definitely pretty much a city slicker, so to be this far out in the wilderness has been a new experience for me. I think the highlight for me was simply arriving on a float plane and just seeing the float planes come in and out of this, this lodge in the last couple days has been really cool. The cliff jump was fun, uh, seeing the pictographs was awesome, and finishing the trip with the shore lunch, it doesn't get better than that. So I wanna thank Aikens Lake Wilderness Lodge and Travel Manitoba for bringing us out here. We're about to hop on a plane and fly back down to Winnipeg, the capital of Manitoba, do some more exploration, so stay tuned to see what we get up to there. In the meantime, remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see all of you Vagabuddies on the road. Peace. Switch. <laughs>